everybody. What I thought I'd do as I close out 2023 here is show you some examples of photos from my own personal photo business that I've taken throughout the year. Most of my clients are teams or individuals, so I kind of skew my photography in that regard. So the things I'd like to show you are things that I consider good sports photos and why I think they're good sports photos. Not because I think I'm the best, because there's plenty of people who are a lot better than me out there, but Every year we get better. Every year we could see what we've done or not done, things we could do better. And that's what I do every year is where, did I, where was I at when I started? Where did I end up? Where do I need to go from there? So with that, let's get going. So before we get started, I just want to say uh, I'm fighting some sort of cold or allergy thing or something so my voice is a little scratchy uh, I have to have it keep having to cough and my eyes look a little watery so if you're looking at me wondering what the heck's wrong with me that's what's going on so I've broken down the images into either action or e what I call emotion and action that's pretty self-explanatory it's what happened during the game emotion is a candid moment during the game before the game after the game that uh, the players are either experiencing great joy or great sorrow. I think they're both very powerful, and in some ways the, uh, the negative emotions, the sadness, is actually more compelling to the viewer, and it helps tell the story of what happened during that game. All right, so with that, let's get going. All right, so here's my first image, and obviously this is an action photo. It is during the game. What I like about this photo uh, that I feel is kind of compelling is, well, there's three things that, you know, we always talk about in sports, we like to see the ball, we like to see eyes. And you've got both of those in this particular image. I love her piercing eyes, and I love uh, the mouthpiece she has in her mouth. I keep the, that just kind of adds to it a little bit. Now, I will tell you, this was not shot as tightly as you see it right here. It was much wider, and I cropped it down uh, to what I you know, often refer to as cropping for action, cropping for impact. And that's what I did in this particular photo. Uh, the rest of it didn't add to the story at all. And I just thought this is kind of a cool photo. So as you notice in this photo, they're standing on a track which surrounds the football field or the soccer field in this case. And I used a flash. So why did I use the flash? Now, normally I wouldn't do that. I would just use ambient light. However, I know from the for experience with these championship games is after they receive the championship trophy in the middle of the field, they like to run up to where the fans are and show it and cheer and, you know, get excited with the fans and the parents because I knew that because I had that experience and I could anticipate it. I put the flash on because I know the light is horrible on the track at night after one of these games. So I used the flash to, to fill it in. So technically, it is, a, is it a fantastic photo? No, but you, you know, you really catch the, 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 the atmosphere, the excitement, the uh, energy of just winning, winning a state championship, and that's hard to beat. All right, so this image is at a 5K. It's at the very end of the 5K. I was at the finish line. And I just love the way this runner has got her arms outstretched and coming in. It really helped the, f the fact that where I was located was down low. She was actually coming off a, s a small hill, and I intentionally positioned myself so I'd be down low. One of the things you might want to think about in sports photography is getting down low to make your athletes look bigger than life. One of the great techniques and what I, I recommend to everybody. And I just happened to catch her coming in, throwing her arms out like that. And when you're doing these kind of 5K, 10Ks, marathons, a lot of people will show a lot of emotion when they cross this, the finish line, and she just happened to do so. Overall, just the emotion I thought was really cool. Another soccer game. This is another state championship. I don't think they had won at this point. In fact, I'm pretty sure they hadn't. However, they had just scored. It was a long, long game. Nobody had scored. Somebody finally scored, and you can see the excitement in this particular photo from things I don't like about this image. If you look carefully in the background, you can see some wavy patterns. Unfortunately, this is a hot day and on a turf field and oftentimes on turf fields, you'll get that, you know, the heat waves coming off the turf. Luckily, they were fairly close and the heat waves weren't affecting the image that badly, but you could definitely see it in the background. Women's flag football started up here in Arizona. Uh, this is our first year, and I got some pretty cool images. I wasn't sure what flag football would be like. The cool thing about flag football is that because there's no helmet, you can actually see their faces, which is great. 
good action. You can't really see her eyes looking straight at you, but you got eyes, a face, and a ball, action. One thing this photo has is conflict, uh, which we haven't seen up till now, and so the other images I showed you. Conflict between opposing players is great in sports action photos. Uh, I always try to capture it, get it into the image as much as I possibly can. The other thing I like is, you notice her feet aren't touching the ground. She's kind of floating through the air. I've heard some Sports Illustrated editors say they hate it when they see feet just planted on the ground, like they're they're locked to the ground. They Her feet are definitely not locked to the ground, so I think this came out pretty well. All right, football photo. You're gonna notice a lot of football photos in this gallery because it's just one of those sports where there's so much of that conflict between players that I talked about earlier. Some of the pure raw emotion that you get. Plus there's, you know, tons of players out on the field at any time and the game is just built for people coming in conflict with each other and pure athleticism, which is probably why it's my favorite sport to photograph. Anyway, great emotion right here. Uh, this player just scored a touchdown. Of course, he's very excited. I love the fact that his, his teammates in the background are also cheering. It's, I use the rule of thirds here to set up the cropping on this. You'll see it pretty common throughout my images. I love the rule of thirds. I love to have like a subject in one third and, and people in the background in the other third. And it just kind of sets out the photo. It's just a personal thing of mine. I know there's other rules associated with composure, but I, I tend to use it a lot. The other thing you want to do in images, as you can see, he's kind of pointed to our left. Uh, you always want your subject you know, having some room in the photo to either look into or move into. And we've got that right here. All right, here's an action photo. No real rule of thirds here. Players are centered in. I could have moved them slightly off to our left. I think it kind of, it worked out fine either way. Again, this kind of shows the conflict between players. You got the ball, you got eyes, nice creamy background from a 400 to eight I was using. Uh, I think it just all came together. Is it the greatest soccer photo ever taken? Nah, of course not, but I like it. Lots of good conflict, lots of eyes, lots of action. All right, another emotion photo, I'll call it. This is another soccer championship. I don't know what it is, but I, get, I tend to get some really good photos of soccer championships. You cannot beat being in front of a soccer team after they receive their championship trophy. All right, football action photo. I like this because, again, this is one of those great action conflict between players, which I always see. I love to get in football games, and I like to get it in any other sport, quite frankly, but football seems to really generate the most. You can't see faces so clearly in this. And that's probably, I wish it was, you know, I could see the faces just a little bit more, and eyes would be great. They're not locked to the ground. The feet are just slightly off, which shows the athleticism in the players. That's another thing I look for in these types of photos is athleticism. So I'm very excited about this and how it came out. All right, another action photo. I just like this. This is another photo that to me kind of encapsulizes action and conflict. You can't see eyes too well, but at least you can see faces got the ball in the photo. You, you know exactly what's going on when you look at this photo. So I'm pretty happy with it. This uh, player in the background between his legs, That's I kind of wish that wasn't there. I'm okay with the guy on the left, kind of slightly out. Like I said, I kind of wish this guy in the background on the ground wasn't there, kind of distracts from my, my um, main focus here. But overall, I, I like this as a good football action photo. All right, so more lighthearted emotional photo. Talked earlier about 5Ks, 10Ks. This is at a 5K. I do a lot of work for a company, company here in Arizona, and they're fun to work for, do work for. I've done a lot of their events, and I found that when I sit up at the finish line, a lot of runners will leap over the finish line in exuberation that they completed it. Um, they weren't the winners by any stretch of the, of the imagination, but they're just happy they got it done. It's just a fun photo, and um, I get a lot of these, and it's pretty fun. All right, action photo. This is at the same day as, as my last football photo. I like this one because of the, I just think this, there's some symmetry there. There's athleticism in it. Quarter pack appears very calm while there's chaos going on all around him and behind him. He's up on his tiptoe, so he's not planted to the ground. There's grass flying. It's just, when it comes to action photos, 
this is just one of the things that I kind of look for. You can see his eyes. You got the ball. You got the ref in the background checking it out. It tells a story. And I love that. And uh, is there anything I could change about this? Uh, I wish, you know, the guys in the background weren't quite blended into him. I wish there was some separation there. But, but overall, I really like this photo. So this was taken at, this is another motion photo taken at the same game as one of my earlier photos. This one, this game produced a lot of good emotional photos. So what do I love about this photo? Well, obviously the exuberance. He had just scored a, uh, a, a goal, uh, very, obviously very excited about it. I think that was the first score of this particular game. He come running to the sidelines with his arms out, yelling, and then he, you could see one of his uh, fellow players in the background running, big smile on his face. Uh, he's not blended in too much with my main subject. I just, I love it. I love, I love good emotional photos. So this is one of my favorites. If I could change anything about this photo, not too crazy about the two yellow lights in the background. I wish they weren't there. It's a little bit distracting, but you know, you take what you could find. You, you're there, you catch what you can catch. You can't really control the background too much. All right, uh, as you notice, I have several flag football photos in here. Again, it's great because you get eyes in the photos, which you don't normally, don't always get with uh, regular football. So eyes and a ball, that's what you get in this photo. And she looks very intense. Focus is very sharp on her eyes, which I love. I also tell you, this was cropped in a little bit, but not too much. I lucked out that I caught this before she was like too big for her, my uh, the lens I was using at the time. Nice smooth background, very out of focus, creates separation between the subject and the background. So I'm pretty happy about how this came out. And uh, it's a great portrait of this individual. Uh, I hope they buy it and put it on their wall. All right, another soccer photo. This is from the same game as the players in white. This is a very emotional game. And they, of course, just scored a goal. It shows athleticism. You see they're not planted to the ground, as I've described before. They're celebrating such excitement, uh, nicely sharp, backgrounds nice and smooth, not a lot of distractions. So very happy with this photo, too. Another soccer photo. I like this one because... The intensity, you've got the, the main subject who kicked the ball into the, is kicking the ball into the goal. You've got the goalie obviously missing it. And just the look on the, uh, the main subject's face, the intensity, I, I love it. If I could change anything about this photo, it is the person in the background who's kind of blending into my main subject. Man, if I could, if I could pull that guy out of there, I would. I wish he wasn't there. I wish he was maybe off to the right a little bit. But you get what you get, right? And, uh, but overall, I'm really, really happy with this photo and the way it came out. Very exciting. But again, I wish I didn't have that guy in the background. All right, so another football photo. Again, I really like shooting football. Thankfully, even though he's wearing a visor, you can see his eyes. There's no ball in it, but who cares? Because it's you know, really an emotion celebration type photo. If there's anything I could change about this image is I wish he wasn't wearing a black uniform against a black background. I would love for him to be in any color other than black. Other things I could, wish I could change is, uh, which you could, you know, you could take out, but I tend to be in the photojournalism methodology where you don't change the photo too much. I kind of wish, the, you know, the orange light in the background, it's not too bad. The one on the left is distracting. I wish it wasn't there. But as far as emotions, I mean, you can, it's hard to beat stuff like this. So I'm I'm happy I caught it. I like it. Uh, again, I wish it wasn't wear a black uniform. Hmm. All right, soccer action photo. I like this photo for a couple different reasons. A, it shows athleticism which is one of the things I often look for is I try to make my subjects look like great athletes, even if they're little kids. And the way you do that is leaping through the air. They're not stuck to the ground, as you can see there. Going after the ball, the flying hair. I love flying hair. Uh, you'll see a lot of flying hair in my photos, if I can ever catch it. You know, and soccer allows you to do that because there's no helmets. And they're both going for the ball. You got eyes, you got faces, you got the ball, you have athleticism. This is just a cool photo. And uh, I know this was on Instagram and the player in blue uh, tagged it and made a joke about his hair. So I think it had the good effect. You know, shot wide open at night, nice creamy background. The sun was going down. So at least it's not pitch black in the background. Another cool photo I really like. 
And finally, I want to finish with this photo because this has, to me, when it comes to emotion, this has everything built into it. This is obviously a football game. These players, their team had just lost. It was a semifinal going into state championship. These guys are both seniors. And this is the last game of their high school career. They lost on a three-point uh, field goal. And the player on the left, number 44, he started crying like immediately after the game. He just walked off to one side, uh, took off his helmet, sat down on the ground and started crying. And I watched him. And I was covering this team, so I was focused on this team rather than the team that was celebrating. He just sat there and cried for like 10 minutes straight. And his friend, number 11, came over and joined him. And number 11 is trying to console him, but uh, it was a very emotional moment. And when you're taking it, you feel a little weird that you're taking the photos. But to me, um, I was just recording a moment in time, you know. And if, if you could feel some emotions <laughs> dwelling, welling up in me right now because I feel for these guys, you know. And because um, I played football in high school too, and my career ended, my football career ended in high school, and uh, <clears throat> it was on a state semifinal game. So I definitely feel these guys. All right, so there you got saw me get all emotional about sports photography of all things. So until then, please check out some other videos. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next time.